There are so many stories I wanted to tell for I Am Theater because it is a frightening large, large part of my life, theater. But I, uh, I liked to tell the story of this one show that I saw when I was a freshman in college. At my school, we had a professional Shakespeare festival that ran out of it, and I uh, became close with one of the older actors who worked there, uh, an artist named Bill George. And Bill founded the Touchstone Theater Ensemble, and at that time he was working on a show called The Kingfisher's Wing. It involves a son who becomes convinced, he, he converts to the Baha'i faith and a father who doesn't understand and follows their two stories. Bill does all the roles and he does a lot of puppetry and there's a lot of music and there's a lot of movement. And I was sort of a traditional Shakespeare, normal theater guy uh, uh, and then I saw Kingfisher's Wing. It really changed that for me but it also changed some deeper things for me because there were two moments in particular. The first moment, the son went to see Baha'u'llah, who in the Baha'i faith is the incarnation of God. And in this moment in the play, Bill stops the action and he comes forth and he just talks to us as himself. He asks this simple question, what would, what would you do if you actually met God? And he starts talking about all the different names that we have for God. And there are a lot of names, so he, it takes about two minutes, and with each name, he gets a little more excited. I mean, he's building and building and building, and you can feel the whole room kind of lifting up with him. And finally, when he finishes saying the last name that we've given to God, he says, if you met him, would that fear, you know the fear that I'm talking about, would it suddenly be gone? And I just burst out into tears, because he had said something I had lived with all my life and never known how to say. And there was another moment at the end of the play. The son has been killed by the forces of the Shah of Iran. The puppet is laid on the ground, the body of the son. And then he walks around and he just lightly touches the head of the puppet of the father. And in that moment, he becomes the father. And he came down and he picked up the body of his son, which was just a puppet. And it was the most extraordinary representation of grief that I've ever seen, but it was just a puppet. <laughs> and I think that one of the things that that play taught me is that why I love theater so much beyond um, television and film and all the rest is because it creates room for you to fill it so that if it was on film, it would have been a, an actor playing the son and the actor playing the father, and it would have just been that realistic representation, and there wouldn't have been any room for me to fill it with my own feeling. But because it was this puppet and, and him, I was able to fill it with all of the grief that I had. Because I think that um, human beings, we have these infinite longings, but we're trapped in these bodies that are brief, and in minds that are finite. But what theater can do every once in a very lucky while is it can blow the roof off and drop the bottom out and suddenly your body and your mind are allowed to catch up with the infinite longings that we have. Uh, and you only get that for a second. But uh, during this play, I got that at least twice and it changed who I am. I'm Gus Schulenberg. Thank you.